My name is Ariana Whittington. I am Kaylin Little. My name is Lauren Taylor. My name is Alexis Cook. My name is Molly Holman. I am a freshman in University City High School. Freshman at University City High School. I am a sophomore. I'm a freshman. I am a sophomore. I am a Queen's entrepreneur. And I'm a Queen entrepreneur. And I'm a Queen entrepreneur. And I am a Queen's entrepreneur. I am a Queen's entrepreneur. The name of my business is Cozy by K, and I design pajamas for high school girls that are fashion conscious and want to be comfortable. The name of my business is My Cosmetics, and I make body scrubs homemade. I have two scents out right now, lemon and lavender. I plan on expanding my business to bigger and different things like bath bombs, lotions, soaps, and uh, just natural body oils. The company is Lex Customs and we create and design custom jackets for all ages. We offer customized bomber jackets the way you want it. Members of our group is myself, Kyla, and Lauren. Each of these young ladies started participating in Queens this school year about halfway through first semester. They followed many of the steps to start their own businesses. They decided the name of their group on their own, their logo, their mission, their vision, and their values. Queen's Conference taught me that preparation is very important to get things ready in time, and being late is pretty much unacceptable. Our experience was as a group at the conference was very fun because we all had our different things, and we all was able to talk to different people and get different business offers. So it felt good to be able to do that as a group. Open like doors, you can say. It made me experience how it could be in the future. The first Queen's Conference taught me that your business can go downhill, but there are some ways to keep it running. And that it taught me how to showcase a business. You've talked about not managing your money, not putting yourself out there, not committed. Um, you guys have mentioned a lot of the main reasons why a lot of businesses fail. So is we're going to go over the top ones, but when we do, I want us to think about why these things might be some of the reasons why people fail, and then what we can do to counteract them, okay? I started my business, Jordania and Well LLC, in 2010. And so that business was to help mentor young girls, but deep down inside, I really wanted it to be about helping youth of color who identify as LGBTQIA. Visionary, you have to be able to see things from all different perspectives and all different sides. So visionaries, they see it like no one else. Being a leader, you can't always see who is behind you, who is looking up to you, who is admiring what you do even if they don't say anything. And so sometimes, even though you are in the front, it may seem like, like you're all by yourself, and it may seem a little lonely, because like, dang, man, I'm all by myself, maybe I should quit. Don't quit, because you never know who is behind you.